Okay, we're <laughs> on the internet. Uh, John Meacham, would have Jeb Bush presidency, now you just wrote the book yeah. about his father, more closely resemble his father's or his brother's? Oh, good question. I think it would resemble his father's more. Um, and I think. Really? I do, because, I mean, the, the, all the three of them are different guys, um, despite the genetic material. Um, and uh, the old, I know, uh, that's, that's science denial, I realize, but um, trying to talk to the base. Uh, uh, so, um, what you, what, what's so interesting about, the, about his campaign is he does not have, I mean, W could, you know, at least pretend he was really into campaigning. His father really did like it, although he didn't believe anything he said while he ran for office. Um, but he liked, you know, he once shook the hand of a department store mannequin in New Hampshire right. by mistake. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 God only knows what Clinton would have done with it. Right. Yeah. Uh, so there's that whole problem. So I think that, I think that he, but he, I think he's more deliberative and I think his father was clearly more deliberative ultimately than his son. Okay. Seth MacFarlane, would you ever consider hosting the Oscars again? Uh, <clears throat> wow. <laughs> uh, it's, it's w sure, why not? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but did they not ask you the year after you hosted? They did. Yeah, the they ratings did. were good. Yeah, yeah. I was so, not, I, I, <clears throat> I... Yeah, people cannot be cowed by the virtual vigilantes. We have to make a stand. You know, you did nothing on that show that was the least bit untoward. Oh, we, we saw your boobs. Was that the thing that the feminists were so upset about? Well, we saw your I, boobs, I we saw your boobs. It was funny, because we, we do see their boobs. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> to, to, to me, it was like, you know, the, you, I read headlines like the failure of the Oscars, and it's like, well, the ratings were up and the crowd was yeah. great. Like, I've done stand-up where it hasn't worked. That was a great crowd. Where, where are you getting that that didn't work. Hate. There's just so much know. hate out there. It's old news. It's old news. It's old All right. Michael McCall, which of the Republican candidates are best on Homeland Security? Wow. Well, they're all bloodthirsty knuckle-draggers. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard to pick. Oh, yeah. They all want to, you know, carpet bomb ISIS, right? Right. So, uh, can I go to Switzerland on this one? <laughs> <laughs> or be agnostic like you? I. Yeah, I just want to. I want a commander in chief that can um, uh, stabilize the region, uh, defeat and destroy ISIS, and protect the homeland. I, and I, I want a strong leader that can do that. I, you know, I'm looking at. You look at my book and the recommendations to protect the homeland. Whatever candidate adopts those recommendations, uh, I will support. But defeat and destroy ISIS. You know, I mean, I know you, you've spoken against his patient approach, yeah. but actually ISIS is quite a bit degraded since we started bombing, and we've dropped like 28,000 bombs on them. Uh, they have lost major cities in Iraq, a lot of territory. Even in Syria, they've lost territory. We bombed their money this week. Uh, they, they had to... They had to... Yeah. Yeah, there's a, good. Who can it be against that? We, <laughs> they had to cut their salaries by half, and these guys have sex slaves to feed. I mean, that yeah. was not... <laughs> it's all right. I'm here. For I know. <laughs> like, you, you learn to accept the, the ooh first. It's like, I'll ooh, I'll be covered, and then I'll decide if it's funny. Oh, yeah, okay, all right. We, but we made some progress. I was over in Iraq last May, and Ramadi fell. Now, we've yeah. taken Ramadi back. That, that's a positive thing. But when you have, you know, go from 15 to 20 to 30, 35 foreign fighters, uh, in the region, uh, that that's a problem. When you over the internet have a growing ideology, that's tough. We have to we have to have a counter narrative right. to defeat the I ideology, and a drone strike alone is not going to kill it. No, I mean that may be what we're going to have to. We get we get a problem. It can. Yes, it's part of what we right. strikes are important, but ideology is important. Okay. You can ask a question. Yes. Uh, in your view, is Donald Trump qualified to be commander in chief? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> wow. No, just that's it. That's, that's fine. You just uh, that's ask it. an that's, answer. That's, Move on. Yeah. Like, that, 
was the perfect yeah. 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 You can only yeah. make it worse now. The yeah. cat threw if up I in be, the den. If I <laughs> take care of it. But, but <laughs> if I become his Secretary of Homeland Security, I'll be building that big, beautiful wall, wall right. and making the Mexicans yeah. well, pay for it. That's, yeah. uh, well, okay. Okay. There well, you have it. You've answered it, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Alan Grayson, well, you know what? I'm going to ask you a different question. This is how can you get money out of politics. But uh, you are the one who is going to bring the lawsuit against Ted Cruz that Donald Trump keeps talking about? So if he's Donald, the nominee, yeah. When Donald Trump says, the Dem I'm not going to sue him, but the Democrats will, he means you. He actually mentioned me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So because you think, you think Ted Cruz is not eligible to run for president. Well, he relies upon his mother to try to establish his citizenship. He was born in Canada. He says that he's a, a, a born, uh, natural born citizen of the United States because his mother was a citizen, but his mother actually was a registered voter in Canada. But that doesn't affect her citizenship. I'm a dual citizen, citizen of two countries, and I vote in both. It, it did in, in 1970. Country? What you should not vote more than once. Well, I do. Well, you might have a problem there. Where are you a resident? Why are you voting Virginia. where you're not a resident? Because I'm legally allowed to, and I'm a citizen of the so, country, and I pay my so taxes, and I want my You can vote in a place. Other, I, I, I think there might be police waiting to arrest you right after the show is over. <laughs> I highly doubt that. Well, it could happen. If there are, if there are, I suspect it's for an entirely different reason. But <laughs> what is the other country? This is like a, this is like a Ross Rachel UK, thing. UK, you're on. a British. Hasten to point out, as I would hasten to point out, I actually believe Donald Trump is. I'm an English qualified lawyer, and on the basis of the way that British nationality transmits, because his mother was Scottish, and oh. I don't believe she ever rejected. I'm totally serious about this. It's so Unless he's what? No, I'm totally serious about this. I know you are, but it's silly. Well, yeah, no. I don't care. I know you're serious, but oh, I don't. Oh, I don't care. I'm all fine. of us have. You know, that, that's not. That no one ever thought that that was part of the problem. Oh, I don't they, think it's a problem. I'm just saying I think that it's a little bit funny that he's like attacking Cruz on this when he is a dual citizen. That's all I'm saying. But, I'm fine but, with it. I, I'm. I would. You know, I don't like Trump, but if we had another dual U.S. U.K. citizen, I'd be happy to see my people. His mother was a Scottish citizen and not an American when she. She became one, but she. You maintain dual. It's very hard to give up British citizenship. You basically have to walk into the embassy and say, I revoke my British citizenship, which He is was not. born in America. I'm not Cruz saying. Cruz was not. I'm not saying Donald Trump isn't an American right. okay. citizen. I'm saying they are both, they were both born with dual citizenship. That doesn't make but, you not American. I'm American, I'm a dual citizen. But if his mother was a Canadian and not an American, then he is not a natural born citizen. She was an American. Well, how do you know that? She was a registered but it, voter but in Canada. Isn't it interesting registered that... voter doesn't... You don't, by registering to vote someplace, you don't give up your nationality. She must have been a Canadian citizen if she was a Canadian registered we allow, voter. The United States allows people to have dual citizenship. Not in 1970. Uh, so, I hope... I, I, I just wait for the moment when we discover is, that Donald Trump... If it is Trump about your mother, no one ever doubted that Obama's mother was American. Right, right. It's right. suddenly somehow that switch. Right, right. Well, that's bullshit too, but it's all the same bullshit. Well, that's what I'm saying. Trump's full of this bullshit, and look, if you want to jump uh, on board, uh, that's fine. Uh, but I think it's fucking crazy. Well, no, no. Uh, all I, so of it. What's what's not crazy you. is to defend the Constitution. It's the Constitution we're talking about here. The Constitution says Alan, if you're less than 35 years old, you can't be president. I'm sorry, but there's a lot of people less than Mark Zuckerberg's less than 35 yeah, years old. Alan, he can't be president. Alan, you George to, W. Bush all right. elected Alan, twice. He can't read, be president. You need, you need to go read what was written by a team of former solicitors general from two different administrations, two parties in the Harvard Law Review about this, and you need to study the history of British immigration I have, law because it's okay, the precedent right, on which our I'm immigration law is bored. established. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, I don't think we meant to lawyer up the panel. Okay. Well, I apologize. Okay. Well, all, all I'm, I know I'm, I'm is... I'm a lawyer. Either you guys want any of this? If, if Ted Cruz was really Canadian, could he be that much of an ass? <laughs> I, I, he is Canada's he, revenge for acid rain. I guess so. So, <laughs> did Sean Penn's interview with El Chapo breach any journalistic ethics? Hmm. Well, they got on his case because El Chapo did have a uh, final say over the article, but El Chapo didn't change anything in that article. 
Uh, I would say in defense of my friend Sean Penn that uh, that's pretty much the standard in journalism these days is that you people give uh, the people they're interviewing a veto a power over it all the time anyway because they don't want them to go away. I won't insult you, Donald Trump. I need you for ratings and you have to be back here tomorrow. So I'm not going to ask a follow-up question. Well, where do you get that? I will say... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I will say as somebody who does political communications for a living, I wish this weren't the way that things go, but it is shockingly common for the subject of a profile or an interview to be given an opportunity to read it and like suggest amendments or raise objections before the thing Now, did is George W. Bush, Sucks, H. W. Bush, uh, yeah. ask you to uh, no. do it? No. He gave me everything. He gave you full access and just said, "Go ahead." In fact, I mean, he hasn't read it yet. Has he put it? <laughs> really? Is that true? Come on. No. Has he put it? I know how it turns out. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> it's totally wrong. Yeah, no, no, it's, he lived the life. Um, but he trusted you because you're seen as a fair arbiter. Yeah, I spent, I, spent a, I hope so. You did uh, Jefferson and you weren't mean to him. Uh, I, well, yeah, uh, you know. Jefferson he, didn't object. Jefferson didn't no, object. No. Hamilton did. Uh, <laughs> but that's uh, <laughs> What a great joke for history majors. <laughs> All right, thank you, everybody. We got to go. I appreciate you being here, folks.